Here we are guys, day two of mental health awareness and today I want to talk to you about overcoming food addiction and finding balance in your diet. Before I go on guys, give the video a like, here we go. Number one is that you need to find the things that trigger your food addictions and plan ahead. So if you know something big is coming up like an event or a birthday party or you know that you're going to have a bad day, set up a food plan. This way when you have your plan ready to go and everything gets chaotic in and around you, you're gonna have a set food plan, you're gonna have your meals planned, and it's going to make sure that you're staying on track and not falling off on your diet. Number two is that you should have an eating process. Don't just eat your food. Take some time to enjoy it and analyze your food. So step number one is to weigh and track all of your food. Step number two is say grace. Be thankful for the sacrifices that were made for the food, and this way you can reflect on how good this nourishment is for your body. And number three is have yourself a spot. Don't just eat anywhere. Make it a routine. Make it an experience like your bedtime. Have the same eating spot every single night and then this way it becomes a condition of something that you look forward to. And step number three is that you should hire a coach. We think that we got it, but most often we don't. And I don't know many people that actually are on their food plan 100% of the time, 365 days of the year. So even if you have a coach for a 28 day span like the belly burn, they're gonna help you to stay on track, follow the process. If you fall off or fail, they're gonna help you to fail forward and continue to stay on track with everything that you're doing. So there we have it, mental awareness, video number two, overcoming food addiction and finding balance in your diet, find your triggers and plan ahead, have an eating process, and hire a coach. See you on the next video.